YouTube, hello. Me again. Uh, Oblivion. Again. Yeah, uh, episode, season, uh, season two, episode two, I guess. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part. I think this part going forward, I'm going to start incorporating more and more of these ideas that I have. So I hope you guys are excited to see some of those. I put a lot of time and, uh, thought into, into where I want Denny's story to go. And, uh, I want it to be deeper than just, oh, you wake up in prison, you become a hero, the game ends. Which is kind of what you get a lot in the uh, RPG genre like this, I guess. So I'm hoping to flesh him out, give him some backstory, give him some depth, make him a character that you know and love. And if you're excited for that, uh, subscribe to the channel so you can get... Yeah? Yeah, we're just gonna... Okay, so you can get notified when uh, when when these things go live, and uh, you know, like the videos, leave comments, like like you know all that good stuff. Whatever, <laughs> I'm a mess. I just woke up, but I had all these ideas swimming around, and I wanted to get straight into this because I need to finish this episode. I think to do my first real character idea. Whatever, you'll see, you'll see. All right. Also, I removed a diagonal walk because we don't play in third person. I never should have installed it because I knew I wasn't going to play in third person. <laughs> it's just kind of jank looking in first person. Right, still very heavy. All right, all my majors and minors. <laughs> Security has been changed to lock picking. Hell yeah. All right, we have a lot of work to do. Like a lot of work to do. Is acrobatics a major? No. Oh, there it is. Alright, so, uh. Can I wait when enemies are nearby? Wait, how do I open the map? I. Okay, sure. Yeah, here's the map. Oh, look, it's got a little fucking Xbox controller on the cursor. That's cute. So we are going to, to Coral. That's Chaden Hall. Coral. All right, so we're going here. Sure. Uh, 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 this way. Crouched. Wait, what the f- Oh, why is jump? Okay, cool. Uh, so... I'll probably... I'll probably cut out a lot of this walking. But we'll just go over... Like, a couple of things real quick, and then... I'll... We'll jump to Coral, probably, because it's gonna take a minute. Um... This is, for the time being, I think, going to be my primary focus on the channel. Is going to be... Uh... Telling the story of... 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 My dear little Denny. So... I've got, like... Inter... Interjectionary... I don't even know if that's a word... It's going to be little episodes interspliced between the bigger ones that will contain some things that help flesh him out as a as a person. But all of this sounds very cryptic, but bear with me because the first one of them is going to be soon and I think it'll kind of help 
Seeking your roots, I've recovered a sprig of nern root, a plant ingredient this unusual must have value. Perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find out a little more about it. An alchemist can be found in almost every city in Cyrodiil. Okay. So are mud crabs hostile? No. Oh. Yes. I didn't want it to go down like that, mud crab. Yeah, the acrobatics went up. Uh, so yeah, inter interjection episodes and whatnot, which you'll see. I'm hoping to do the f the first one after this, maybe. It really depends on how this episode ends. Again, you'll understand in time. Just bear with me. Just know that there is more coming than just me walking, slashing, and talking. There's going to be other things happening. Uh, I do have other series ideas that I want to do. Uh, hello? Now We're not cool. Oh, you bitch. You you bitch. Stop. Fucker serpentined me. None of you even know magic. My inventory is so full. Please, be gentle. Alright, I'm at weight. I'm actually overweight. Okay. You know what? We don't. We don't really need a shield. I'm almost certainly not going to use it, even though I almost certainly probably should use it. Fucking cloth has a four weight? Jesus Christ. Wood door to sinkhole cave. Does sinkhole cave appear on a map? Yeah. I have to come back for it. My inventory's so full. Uh, but yeah, I have other series ideas that I'd like to do. Uh, depending on how this does or is received, really, how much people like it's more important than how many people watch it. To me, at least. Oh, don't. Don't do that. That's so sad. Uh, but depending on how this series is received, I would like to do, uh, other games like this. Uh, I don't know what I would do next. Maybe Skyrim, maybe Morrowind. I'd like to do both at some point. So it's just a we'll see kind of thing. I have some cool ideas for spinning Denny's storyline off into Skyrim. I don't know if I can spin it back into Morrowind, but... Sinister's under your hand. Do you seek its conjured weapon and armor? Oh, is this a bound stone? Sh sure. It's the bound dagger. Oh, and then putting it away. Okay. Uh, I did, before we I settled on my current idea for Denny, I did briefly consider making him a, uh, like a bound warrior, where he would have only been able to use bound 
like the Dramora bound weapons and armors. And if he didn't have access to them, he would be uh, a hand to hand combatant only. <laughs> I had I had a lot of ideas. But yeah, just know there's more stuff coming to flesh the world out, more series coming in the future, besides just Elder Scrolls. I don't know what else I'll do, but there, I have a lot of other ideas for things I want to do. Right now, though, uh, sh sh streams, if any of them happen at all, at this current moment in time, they would just be Oblivion, I guess. I'm not really... not really interested in anything else at the moment, so it's going to be a lot of Oblivion coming, which I know makes a lot of you happy uh, because of how the last series just kind of ended. So, uh, yeah. Uh, more Oblivion and only Oblivion. And, uh, I guess from here I'll just see you guys when I get to Coral. All right! Wow, what a quick, what a quick little leisurely walk that was, huh? We are now approaching uh, Coral. Coral. Just grab a couple. Uh, maybe I don't grab a couple of mushrooms real quick. A little signpost. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll get the little lantern. Ooh, these lanterns are actually really nice. Okay. Just gonna head on over here to... <clears throat> to Wayne and... Wayne and... Priory. 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 Priory sounds like a, a person with a, a terrible southern accent trying to say prairie. Head on down over there to Wayne and Priory. I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> that was dark. I shouldn't have said that. I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. Joffrey! Wait, hold on. Wait, will you buy stuff from me? Yes. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name. And this is Waynon Priory. Waynon Priory. You will not buy things from me. Okay, good. Joffrey. It's like in here, yeah? Yeah. Is this stealing? I don't want to... Does this stuff have weight? Am I going to pick enough of these that I'm over encumbered and I have to drop something? Yes? Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Alright, yeah. What up? Okay. It's kind of weird that you ran me down just to be like, oh yeah, uh, just go upstairs. So if it's red, can I read it? Or is that like a no-no? I don't remember. Wait, are you Joffrey? Yeah. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Uh, the Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? He gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Yeah, I just said that. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? He said... It's free real estate. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Close shut the jaws of oblivion. The meaning is unclear to me as well. 
the Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Mehrunes Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Shout out Mehrunes Dagon. Alright, Joffrey. How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I'm going to be honest with you, that all sounds real bad. Emperor did ask me to find his son, though. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Uh-huh. Uh huh, and hypothetically, because I know I know where and how to get there. I do, but say hypothetically, my friend wanted to know where where they could find Uriel's son. Not me, because I know, and I know what I would tell them if they asked me. But hypothetically, if they asked you, what would you tell them about where they can find Uriel's son? He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I, you know what? I really appreciate that, actually. Um, boy, there's a lot of stuff to ask you about, huh? Uh, help. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Yes. Oh, that's it? Is it this chest? Oh, are you going to open the chest for me? Okay, cool. Yo, what the fuck is this? I think crystal ball sometimes be like lighting up and shit. Can I read these books? I don't know. Oh wow, this is a lot of stuff. So we're just gonna take the heavy armor that you have here. Which, yeah, it's real heavy, but that's a problem that I will figure out in a second. I should probably like try to take shit of value. How do I... All right, me. I've got some stuff I can put in here because I have to shed some weight. Uh, you can have those. Uh, uh, I'm a f I'm a fucking mess. Do I need? Seven pounds of weak potions of healing? Honestly, probably. Yeah. Water walking? The potions of sorcery I definitely have to keep because I don't regen magicka. Uh, uh, uh. I got so much shit. I got... Okay, take the calipers back. And the tongs. 
You know what? I'll be back in a second once I get this inventory sorted out. Alright. <laughs> Perfect. I cut weight. I'm a mess, but I cut weight. Alright, so those of you watching the... Watching episode 2 of the game... Uh, you just saw a weird jump cut from upstairs... Talking to Joffrey to downstairs coming out this door. Uh, don't worry about it. I decided that I wanted the... I'm gonna... At least for now, it might be a, a one-off decision... I'll leave it up to you guys to tell me what you think about it. But I read all of the books in there, and I think I'm going to split the... Am I over-encumbered? Yeah. And I think I'm going to split the book reading into its own thing, if that makes sense. Like, the books are going to get their own episodes. So, if that interest to you they'll be they'll be a separate thing so it's a hard cut uh i'm just gonna have to let it go it's got value but i'm just gonna have to let it go so it'll be a hard cut and then there'll be another episode of the series that goes up after this one that will contain the reading of the books does all of that make sense i certainly hope so Now we begin our journey to, uh, to Kavach. So I guess, uh, yeah, the books will be their own episodes, which means this is going to take a little longer because I'll have to cut them out. I have a plan going forward for how I'll do it to make it all easier on me, but I didn't make that plan until, like, halfway through reading the, p the books. One of them was, just like, 50 pages long. That shit took forever. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to walk over here to Kavach. We'll do that little bit, and then we'll probably wrap this episode up. Uh, the books were not what I intended to be the interjection or inter, 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 interspliced episodes. I, I still have other ideas for that, but I guess you'll also maybe get books if anyone's interested in hearing me read all of the, the lore and backstory, then I, I, you're going to have to tell me. I'm not just going to do it for my health. Tell me if you want me to read the books. And if you do, I'll keep doing it. So, uh, yeah. With all that housekeeping stuff out of the way, I'll see you when we get to Kvetch. Just quickly bring you guys back in here. I found a little, little, little village called Hack Dirt. So, see if maybe we can sell some stuff here. Hello, sir. Now, you ain't welcome here. Wait, why not? My grandfather built this place. Not that it's any of your business. We've been down, but we got plans to bring back the good old days. You'll see. Wait, why are you mad at me? Blasted thief. I hope they string him up when they catch him. He's a slippery one, though. The beggars are his eyes and ears. Go bother someone else. Okay. The f fuck did I do? It's just a house. I need my torch back. I can't see. Dry goods. Yes. I'll wait outside your door for 12 hours. Let me in! Oh. Right, I definitely need a torch now. It's daytime. Door Nibbin Bay. I have heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. No. You. Go on. Make it quick. Oh.
Oh my god, you have things. You have things. I can buy things. I can purchase and own things. No, I have enough things. Actually, that's right. I'm here to sell things, actually. You probably cheated me, didn't you? Excuse me? You probably cheated me, didn't you? Stop saying that. No. Of course I didn't cheat you. You probably cheated me, didn't you? Stop saying that. You probably You probably you probably cheated me, didn't you? You probably cheated me, didn't you? <laughs> wow, this lady's you probably you pr really upset you at probably, me. You pro you probably I'm not cheating you! Stop saying that! <laughs> um. You probably cheated me. Yes. You? Yes, I did. I did. I cheated you. Yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Not a single fucking thing. I guess my weight down by 60. I guess that's not bad. If you're done shopping, you'd best be moving along. Just go away. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. People here in Hector really don't... Fuck with me, huh? Alright, whatever. I'll be back to see you all at some point. Don't you worry. You haven't seen the last of me. Welcome, I'm leaving! Fucking assholes. Well, I mean, at least we sh we cleared up some of the some of the inventory space. We can carry some stuff now. Still have a lot of ingredients. I don't know if I should be hoarding them this this early in the game or if I should wait until I'm getting like deeper into alchemical dabblings and whatnot, but hey, we're going to work on it together. Everything is going to happen together. This game's this game's real fucking pretty though. Definitely looks a little better than it did when it came out. The grass is going to keep popping in as I go along though, right? Or is this whole hillside just barren? It is barren. So sorry. So sorry for what I've done. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. We go due south, pick up the road, and then we'll take the roadway into Kvatch. Instead of just, like, coming over a hill into the middle of the city. So yeah, I just brought you guys back to check out Hack Dirt with me so you could see how much they all hate me. We'll stop by this little altar thing here. What is this? Where are you? At the Way Shrine of Julianos. Know the truth. Observe the law. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. What did you just do to me? Where are my current effects? Here. Okay. So I got Fortify Magicka and Fortify Intelligence. Hell yeah. Thank you. Alright, and now back to my journey to reach the road. I will see you all when we get there. Okay, bye. Alright, and uh, welcome back to the path you're almost to Kavach. I've had a few run-ins with uh with some enemies so we've lost a little bit more of our already bottom of the barrel magicka ow ow ah ah 
Fuck off, dickhead. All of you have white armor. It's very, very frustrating. I need heavy armor. Need more heavy armor. I need more heavy armor. I'm so sorry. I deeply apologize for what you just had to witness. I'll understand if you leave and never come back. Probably deserve it, even. Stop moving so the stamina recharges a little faster. Get my stamina back up and we will finish. As you can see, we're on like the final curve around into Kavach. So yeah, we'll be there in just a few, uh, just a few short minutes. Go ahead and get this, uh, we'll go ahead and get this episode starting to taper down and wrap up. I've got a lot of work to do <laughs> since I have to separate that book reading section out of here. But, uh, but yeah, having a good time. Don't know when you'll see this. I'm recording this Sunday, June 11th, or I guess Turtis 28th of Last Seed. Um, I also just uploaded part one, like, last night. I did it in the middle of the night. Little sneaky, little sneaky sneak boy drop. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to stick to the, like, the old stream VODs upload schedule, which was, like, Sunday... Tuesday, Thursday? Maybe? That might have been it. Don't entirely remember. I think that's correct. I think it was like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. But, you know. We'll see. We'll see how I want to do it. I also don't know if I want to do like... Should I continue doing the, the book reading stuff? Which again is entirely dependent upon you guys. Tell me you want it and I'll do it. Don't tell me and I won't. I'm not, gonna, I'm not doing it for my sanity. I'll just pause and read the books myself instead of... Spending an hour reading a fucking 50-page detailed history of f fucking Baron Zia to myself. I don't even remember if that was the book that was 50 pages long. I, just a lot of reading. Do it faster in my head. So yeah, up to you guys. Everything we do here is going to be... Uh, almost entirely what I feel like doing, but also for some of the things that I'm like, meh, I don't really care either way. I'll do it or not do it. It doesn't matter to me. I would like to be able to leave those kinds of decisions up to you guys to figure out. At the end of the day, this is a joint effort, just mostly done by me, built around whatever I feel like doing. All light armor, yeah. And there might be times that I ask you guys for for help deciding something, and then you're like, "Hey, do do A," and I decide that I don't care what you want, and I do B anyway. There's just so many options here. Dun dun dun. I really thought this would be a shorter walk. Yeah. 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 Rock. Ooh. 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 A little jittery there, Oblivion. You got it. Hang in there, buddy. We're doing great. So that, that's Kavach, right? Up on the hill? Yeah. So we should be coming, I think, past this little cliff face. It'll veer off to the right. That'll lead us up and into Kavach.
Can I pick you? Nope, you're just pr just pretty little flowers. Can pick primroses, ladies' mantle, dragon's tongue, flax. Can pick all of those though. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm right up here. Uh, or I thought right up here. Am I, am I stupid? Can I not read a map? I feel like I can read a map. It's gonna be right over here. Yeah, here we go. Kovach! I don't remember what activating signpost does, so I'm <laughs> just not doing it. I'll look into it after this and we'll go from there. Why is the music all intense? Oh, it must know that I wanted to pick these tiger lilies. Ow! It didn't know I wanted to pick the tiger lilies. I was being murdered by a wolf. Duly noted. Alright, yeah, we're at the Kavach base camp or whatever, right? Why are you? It's the smell, really. Smoke and fire. Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! God's blood! You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night! There were glowing portals outside the walls! Gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire. They swarmed around it, killing. The whole city it cannot be destroyed. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. All right, Hurdle, slow down. How did you get out? It was Sabli and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Sabli and says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can! I'm angry. I want to stay angry. That anger keeps me going. Okay, well that was certainly a conversation that just happened. Do you have a bed I can use? You do. You do have a bed I can use. No, 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 of course not. Nine love you very, very much. Alright, let's go see what Hurdle's all worked up about. Let's... Go see what hurdles all worked up about. Oh, 
some weird sounds. Okay. Uh huh. How good this looks. Oblivion, don't ever change. <laughs> Fuck, it looks really good. Yes, hello? Oh. Their fireballs count as magic. Can I regen my magicka by letting them hit me? I am unsure. I need to talk to you, I'm pretty sure. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What happened? We lost the damn city. That's what happened. Oh. It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. You mean the priest? Yeah, As tell me about I Martin. Him, he was leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them. At least safe for the moment. If he's not... What can you tell me about the gate? Some kind of portal to oblivion. The enemy used them to attack the city. They appeared outside the walls and Daedra poured out. They've opened one right in front of the city gates. Until that gate is closed, the best I can do is try to hold these barricades. Okay. My home. My goddamn home in flames. It kills me that I can't get in there and do something. We couldn't have been any less prepared for this. Seems like they came out of nowhere. There were just so many of them. If only I had a way to strike back at the enemy. But we can't leave the barricade until that oblivion gate is closed. I can help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? <sighs> Mostly. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? Some of us are born to die. S Savlian. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive. Help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Can do, Savlin. It's a brave thing to do. That is, however, going to do it for Season 2, Episode 2 of Oblivion. When we come back next time, we will enter the Oblivion Gate and see what awaits us in the burning streets of Kvatch. 
As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and or drop a comment down below. Anything and everything absolutely means the world to me. Please, please, please be sure to let me know if you would like me to continue making spinoff episodes where I read the books and things of that nature. Uh, you will not be getting my sp special bonus interjectionary episode yet. I guess it will come after the next episode, depending on how we end, because the groundwork hasn't been laid properly yet but it is coming stay tuned i'm really looking forward to playing with some of these cool ideas i got and uh i hope you guys enjoy them so with all that said until next time youtube i love you and bye bye <laughs>